Hello and welcome to the third video of converting Tronc CX5SA to decent printer. This time around I will be mounting linear rails to the frame, so it will be a rather short video. But before that mandatory disclaimers. This build deals with high voltage which has a potential to kill you. This build is not easy to make, consider yourself warned. So let's get started. Before you decide to build VisiBot, let me explain one crucial thing about linear rails. They usually come as two separate pieces, rail and a carriage. And that means you will have to put carriage onto the rail by yourself. Why is it crucial? Well, if you screw up, carriage is basically good as gone. It has a lot of small ball bearings inside that are held together by some rubber insert that comes from the factory such as this one. Unfortunately, I did not record myself putting them on rails as I was simply scared I will make some mistake while having camera in the way. However, I did record putting them while assembling my CNC machine. So current footage is from that. Procedure is the same. Additionally, I recommend watching some videos. I will link in the description below how those carriages are made and how they look inside. Truth be told, you can recover from mistakes here, under the assumption you won't lose those ball bearings. But keep in mind that those are really small and are very easy to lose. Before you put carriage onto the rail, I suggest cleaning rail with isopropanol. It comes from a factory with a rust protective coating which isn't really good for lubrication. Before we mount the linear rails, print yourself alignment tools from repository. At least two for MGN12 and two for MGN9. Those will come in handy as you will see in the video. Now as for mounting linear rails on the aluminum extrusions, you will have two options. Either take off these extrusions from the frame and mount linear rail while having pieces on your desk, or mount linear rails while the entire frame is assembled like VisiBot manual suggests. Both options are viable. However, I decided to take off the extrusions to make installation slightly easier and make sure that carriages won't accidentally slide off the rail. While mounting both Y rails is rather easy regardless of the path you will choose. Mounting X rail may be a little harder. This is the point I recommend printing all the correct gantry parts if you haven't done so already. At the very least, mounts for the Y carriages as they will be required if you choose to buy RAW profile. They also may come in handy when aligning it. Start off by preparing mounting screws and T-nuts. If you decide to not use all the holes, make sure to spread them evenly. For my machine I have left two holes unoccupied between screws for Y axis and three unoccupied holes for X axis. Once you have all your linear rails attached to T-nuts with screws, insert them into extrusions. Make sure that they are roughly even in placement and align them with 3D printed tool. After that, lightly screw it to the extrusion so that you can make adjustments later on. This procedure will be different for X-axis if you decided to buy carbon fiber or aluminum profile. Even worse if you brought the version that wasn't pre-drilled. Let's start with the options that will require most work, which will be a raw aluminum or carbon fiber profile. You'll have to make holes yourself, which is why I don't really recommend it, and I have no footage of it, so I will try to explain on a build printer with some help of the 3D model. Not to mention drilling carbon fiber and even aluminum may be hazardous. So wear eye protection and respiratory mask. If you can source it locally for cheap, it may be an option. However, for me, it just wasn't worth the hassle. Now to show you how I would do it. Place linear rail on the top of the profile exactly in the middle and secure it with MGN alignment tool. Mark all the holes you will be drilling and this isn't going to be easy. You will need something thin and long to make marks correctly. Full-sized permanent marker may not fit in 3mm hole. To make things even worse, this isn't the end of the marking. Temporarily take off linear rail from the profile and attach it to the side holders. 
there are four more screw holes to mark, two on each side, and those holes will have to go all the way. If you manage to do it correctly, congratulations. You are at the stage as the option 2 which is buying Predrilled X gantry bar. It is a little bit different to mounting linear rail on the extrusions as you won't be using T-nuts to hold it together. But either normal nuts to hold it from the bottom if you got the carbon square tube or directly to the body of the aluminum profile. Technically you will need to print some plastic holder for the screws as shown in this video for carbon tube. Now that you have your rails mounted, it is time to mount the front idlers and back motor mounts. This step was unexpectedly easy and thanks to the good documentation you shouldn't have any problems. Assuming you have printed all the plastic parts and have all the screws, simply attach T-nuts where the bomb images shows and attach them to the frame. Do not forget to insert rollers in correct position. Two things that may be a little confusing is the belt routing, but that is shown in the PDF build guide. And mounting back tensioners so you will have to take a closer look at the bomb picture and not miss that screw that goes inside tensioner like I did. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to correct mistakes as all those parts I just mentioned are very easy to disassemble. I suggest to leave tightening motor GT pulleys after you attach your print head, which will be a topic for the next video. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything I have missed, and I will try to cover that in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it, and hit the subscribe button if you did, as it will help me to get motivated to do more builds.